Welcome to Bilingual Analytics. My name is Roland. I'm glad to see you here. On the 1st of February 2022, I shared with you my personal expense tracker and a guide on how to use it. It's a nifty way of saving more money and guiding yourself to a better financial position. If you haven't already watched it, I added the link to the description box below and you will find it in a little info button at the top right corner. Don't forget to check out that video as well and download the free Power BI report. While the original tutorial is focusing on how to use the report, I promise to record a few other, hopefully, shorter videos about how the sausage was made. And this is going to be one of those how-to tutorials. In other words, over the next few videos I'm going to share with you some tips and tricks that I used in the expense tracker report, stuff that you can easily replicate in your reports to make your life easier and to make your report consumer's life simpler. These tips are not limited to the expense tracker, I'm just going to use that report as an example. And if you get value out of these tips, please consider clicking on the like and subscribe buttons. It helps to spread the word about some of these cool little features in Power BI. Thanks heaps! In today's episode, I would like to cover how and why I use dynamic report page headers and visual titles. But enough of seeing me, let's jump into this. Here we are on the expense analysis report page. As I mentioned before, I'm only using the expense tracker report as an example. Have a look at the top where I have the report page title. It says, Roland, welcome to your expense analysis. If you followed along with the previous videos, you know that users who want to find you in this report can easily do that by simply updating their name on the personalized sheet in the relevant Excel file. Let me just change this to Roland 2 and refresh the report. And now you can see that the report page title has been updated automatically. It's not rocket science, all it takes is a little bit of DAX. Let me show you my measure, Expense Analysis Header, under the User Query. It's the name measure that is coming from the Excel file and some free text. The same goes for the Expense Tracker header with an extra hello chucked in front of the name. Let's look at that one as well. Additionally, I also like to use dynamic visual titles to help my users understand what kind of analysis they will find on the report page. Both of these combo charts on the left were created with dynamic titles. Let me start with the DAX measure and then I show you where to set this up. Under the report query, there is a header group, that's where I have my dynamic titles. If you want to change them or fine-tune them to your likings, you can do that here. Both of them are going to follow a somewhat similar structure. Instead of hard-coding the visual title to 2019 or 2020 or 2021, I used DAX to have those dates flexible. But the best part is, you can adjust any of this to what makes sense to you and your report consumers. Let's say that you want to add the last refresh date, or last date with values to a visual title. All you need to do is add last date as a DAX measure and you will have it there. Let me show you how. You see down here? The last date I have in my expense report table is the 28th of February 2022. And how can you set this up in Power BI? Easy. In the new format pane, you head over to format your visual, then general option, and you will find the title section there. Once you are here, just click on the FX button and under format style, select field value and the DAX measure that you created. And finally, let's talk about why I love the option of using dynamic headers, titles, page names. I reckon in many cases it helps report consumers to remember what to expect from a report page or from a visual. Also, if they take a screenshot or copy visual from the report, they will have a neat title for the visual and there is no need to explain to others what's available on the visual. If you add some sort of a selected value DAX to the header, you can remind users what slicing and dicing they've made. Show a country, a product or product group instead of just sales in the report title. Believe me, your users are going to love this so much. And you know what? Dynamic titles also help me or can help us report creators to only create a measure once 
instead of renaming a visual element every single year. It's not just about the time you can save, but you no longer need to remember to adjust titles, report pages, and so on. Dynamic headers and report titles are a simple, but very effective way of streamlining your report creation process. Thanks for tuning in today. I hope that you learned something new and interesting from today's tutorial and you will be able to replicate it in your reports. If you haven't already watched it, make sure to check out the personal expense tracker video and download the free report. And don't forget to hit those magic buttons under this video.